sitting here, just sitting here chilling, working. Hope y'all are doing good. Y'all, this quarantine, I sit back and look at some of these videos that people are making and some of them are complaining about not being able to go out and hang out with their friends and not being able to do stuff. But, you know, I'm just thankful to be alive. You know, and, and I'm just thankful that I still have a job. I'm still thankful that my husband still has a job, that we're both able to still do what we need to do. And I'm just thankful. So, I just, I have no reason to complain. I, there is nothing to com complain about because it could be very worse because I know personally people that can't say the same thing they don't have a job right now they're even had they either had to be let go because the company is not prepared for something like this or if they're having to downsize um for whatever reason you know they aren't working so therefore the income has stopped um, so that alone for me not to be, not for me not to have to go through that, I dare not sit up here and complain about having to stay in the house. You know what I'm saying? I'm still able to live my life, you know, like I've been shopping, like I've been, I haven't had to put on any type of work clothes, uh, within the past three weeks going on a month now. So I probably don't even know if I'm going to be able to fit in them clothes because I've been snacking and eating. But I'm just thankful. I'm still blessed. I'm still here. I'm still, I've got a, I've got a peace of mind. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just grateful. I'm thankful. And I'm just taking this time to reorganize, to rethink some things, rebuild, um, rekindle, you know, just utilizing this time to the best of my abilities you know what i'm saying because it could be a lot, a lot worse so i dare not complain um and my job has been very transparent with us i oh god i just thank god for my job and my job is something that i manifested years ago and i didn't realize i was manifesting it but i manifested it and it came to pass in I have it and I'm very content with what, with what I'm doing, even though sometimes these folks get on my last everlasting nerve, but that comes with the territory when you have such um, a caseload and you have the bigger responsibility, of course, you have more um, oppositions that come your way, but that's expected. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing gonna come free. Ain't anything worth having. You got to work and you fight for it. You feel me? So, but overall, my job has been very transparent about their plans for the future, um, their long-term and short-term. And of course, long-term is kind of hard to say right now because everything is, is drastically changing. Um, but the CEO of our company has gotten on live um, almost once a week since this has been going on, you know, being very transparent as far as where we are financially, the health of the company, um, and things like that and, and things that are foreseen, the unforeseen, preparing for the unforeseen and preparing for, you know, whatever the case may be. And from a business standpoint, I can appreciate that because there are a lot of companies that are not communicating with their employees. They have no idea what's going on, what their plan is. Some jobs or companies don't even have a plan for this financially. Um, so I can definitely appreciate the, uh, the transparency that my job is giving us. Um, so if something was to ever happen, I wouldn't be blindsided by, by all means. I wouldn't be blindsided by it. I would be feel well warned about it, but I will go ahead and speak it, speak it to an existence that I will not have to rob Peter to pay Paul by any means necessary. I will not. My husband and I will not be having to rob Peter to pay Paul. You know, I'm just thankful that we have that, you know what I'm saying, as an alternative. And I'm just thankful just to have the job, period. I'm just thankful overall just to have a job. 
But let me go check on my wings, y'all. And I'm sitting here. I'm sitting here looking out my window because my desk is like right in front of the uh, window. And I've got a package from uh, Boohoo that's supposed to be coming. And you know when you order something? Oh, look at my chicken, y'all. It's gonna be so good. You know when you order something in the next five minutes, you already checking the tracking to see where it at? Yeah, that's been me. Like I just ordered it I think I ordered it Saturday or Sunday. And child, I was already on the thing. Already on the thing, checking for the website. Like, you know, damn well, <laughs> the stuff ain't in the mail just yet. So, I'm excited and looking forward for that. Y'all, this chicken looks so amazing. And I got them kind of crispy, too. I cooked them a little bit longer than normal. And these are just the apple smoked wings from um from Sam's. And this is what they look like. If you guys can see, can y'all see that? It's coming to light. Can y'all see that? It's a hit or miss when I cook it in a pot regularly and I want perfect rice so went about a rice cooker but I didn't get out the car I ordered uh, through Target through a uh, pickup so you just go online target.com or what you want pay for it request for it to be picked up you tell it when it's on when you, when you want it. Um, and you have to download the app, of course. And you roll up there when you when you tell them you're on your way. You tell them what color car you in. You tell them when you get there, and they'll bring it out to you. They scan your little phone and the barcode, and they say you don't have to get out of the car. And they put the stuff in the car or the trunk, or they put the stuff in the trunk for you. So. Before we brought the stuff in, we sprayed and wiped everything down. Before we brought it in the house. And I got me a rice cooker. And I got a, a beauty blender. A Sonya Cash beauty blender. Like so. This was like five bucks. And I purchased a...
foot tub. Because me and my hubby are going to do pedicures later. He just don't know it. He just found out. In a foot spa. So, yeah, that's what was, that's what we, that's what I got today. Two new purchases. So now I'm about to open up my new toy. Barry, you didn't even look at my new toy yet. You did? called adulting when you get excited about house stuff. <laughs> you get excited about the little things. Now, I have never used a rice cooker before, so we're about to learn how to do this together. Alright, so I need to wash this. It comes with a top, of course. Alright. Then it got this little thingy doo doo hickey. Now you know how to use a rice cooker. I ain't never used them before. I don't know what this is for. Then we got a measuring cup. Then we got this little doo hickey right here. And it's got measurements on the side. So I don't know what we do. I guess this is the body of the rice cooker. Oh, it comes with a little spoon. Okay. And of course, the directions. Alright, y'all. So we're going to figure this thing out together because I don't know what I'm doing. First things first, I need to wash all this stuff. <laughs> Fish cakes, salmon patties, whatever. So my husband said he wanted that for dinner tonight. I said, okay, I'm on it. I can handle that. You know what? I got this egg. I got this onion right here that I actually started up. Then I'm going to use this and put this one back. First thing I'm gonna do is uh, chop up my onion and my bell pepper. I'm gonna see all my stuff to the side. Hopefully y'all can see everything okay. Can y'all see everything okay? Let's sit this to the side. All my dishes right here, they are clean. I just got them sitting in here because I know I'm gonna, need them. I'm gonna need them in a minute. So first things first, honey, is sanitary, sanitation. Because I have long nails, I don't want no kind of stuff getting up in my fingernails because this is going to get very hands on -y. and you got to be able to put your hands on it, put your hands in it, get a little messy with it. Can't be afraid with food. So, to prevent my nails from getting cross contamination or getting all that fishy smell up under my nails, I'm going to put on gloves. And because it's just the right thing to do. Alright, so I got my rice over there cooking in my rice cooker. Got me a good old knife. And I'm about to start cutting my bell pepper. And 
and these bell peppers will have to get cut up really really fine and I don't have no food processor so I'm gonna have to just take my time and cut these up real fine I ain't got nothing to do but I ain't got nothing to travel on my hands so we're gonna get to cutting these up real fine okay salmon patties, salmon croquettes, whatever you want to call it. But this is just how my mama taught me to do it. And that's, this is how we're going to get her done. Right. Then she always taught me to take a fork and stand it up tall. And you can kind of pretty much see where the line, the bone is or the spine of it, of the salmon is. So you just want to take your fork and slightly separate it. And if you separate it, you'll see that the bone is right here. Can y'all see that? So that makes it easier for you to debone your salmon. So you just wanna take that off, take the bones out, cause you do not want no good old salmon patties crunching on bones and the same thing you just basically lightly take it apart and make sure you're not missing any bones in here see so like he go just another piece okay. um i normally take this i scrape the skin off of it but if you want to keep the skin on you can 
but I'm just taking the skin off of this one. And probably some of the other pieces I'll keep the skin on. I just don't want a lot of skin mixed into it. All right. So this is how I debone my salmon. Now I'm gonna take my, normally it's say you're supposed to use, it's really good to use a cast iron skillet, but I don't have a cast iron skillet. Um, so I have an old pot that cooks some mean, mean grilling machine salmon patties, okay? So I'm going to use this old pot that my mama passed down to me. And I'm going to saute my onions and my bell peppers. So while my pan is over there heating up, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna just shred my meat, my salmon real good. But you got me hooked. You're playing it big time. You All right, so I got my salmon right here. And I'm gonna sit this to the side like so. You guys can see that. So I'm gonna take my bowl that I poured a little bit of my salmon juice that I drained. And I'm gonna go ahead and add my two eggs. Seem to be over. I saw and my breadcrumbs, and you can pretty much eyeball this, y'all. I just pretty much eyeball. I don't really have no proper measurements. I'm gonna add my lemon juice. Lemon goes good with uh, seafood, of course. Add me some old bay. I'm going to go ahead and add my garlic powder. Oh, excuse me. My, oh no, that was onion powder. No, that's garlic powder. I need onion powder. Where my onion powder at? Okay, here's my onion powder. I'm going to add my onion powder. I'm going to add plenty of that. Add my accent. Of course, you need to wake some flavor up, get some flavor going. And I'm going to add my black pepper. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my onions and bell peppers and I'm going to go ahead and saute these up real quick. So now that my onion, my onions and bell peppers are about done, I'm gonna just mix this up real good. All my seasonings. And now I'm going to add my onions and bell Just like a dream, yeah, you and me Can't help but feel so unreal Stay high with you, your silhouette Makes me forget All of my fears just disappeared when I'm with you Consisting of tonight some salmon croquettes or salmon patties with some tomatoes and 
rice and this is some leftover corn we grilled the other day when we were cooking on the grill and we about to smash smash 